So I feel like I have to do an, a, an obligatory drunk Trump rant because, I don't know, I rant about physics and shit, but, like, nobody ever cares to hear people talk about physics. You know, they, they want to hear about Donald Trump. So let me give you my thing on Donald Trump, all right? Mostly because I need some clickbait, man. Somebody needs to start clicking these damn videos. First of all, Donald Trump is just a fucking idiot, okay? I'm, he is the most entertaining motherfucker out there. I mean, that's why everybody's talking about him. That's why nobody can stop talking about Donald Trump, and he fucking loves it, all right? I mean, it's really that easy. This has just been one big fucking giant cockstroke for him to become the president and to, you know, be dissed by so many people. But you know what? Negative press? I mean, there's no such thing as it, right? There's no such thing as bad press. All press is just press. It's just attention for the attention of seeking, which is why I like to have some press. I like to know that people are viewing my shit and are listening to the things that I have to say. And, you know, it's nice to think, but, I mean, does anybody really care? That's where Trump gets lost. Nobody gives a shit what he thinks. Nobody actually gives two hot flaming shits what Trump thinks. They just want to hear him tweet about shit. They just want to see him become a national spectator. They just want to watch this fucking bullshit country burn to the ground. Either that, or they're rabid lunatics who have no idea what's going on, and they think Trump is their fucking coming king and savior because he's a Republican. He's not even a Republican. Nobody knows what the hell Donald Trump is because he never talks about anything important. He just says things. So, you know, at the risk of, you know, making this an even drunker rant, I'm going to take another drink, and now let's... Focus on some other shit that's going on. North Korea. Oh, I love it, man. It's just like Donald Trump played fucking Fallout 4 and went, Oh my god, I want that to happen. I want dog meat. I want my own dog meat. Can we, can we please, can we please nuke Korea? I just want to nuke something. I want to press nuke buttons. Like, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It is, I wake up every day and I go, Oh my god, is this real life? Like, how do you... I mean, I love Donald Trump, but for all of the wrong reasons. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm a Donald Trump supporter. I support the fact that he's gonna burn this fucking country to the ground, alright? Just to put it simply, I'm not even gonna mince words, because this shit needs to burn to the fucking ground. Why? We have police. Now, that's a good thing! Usually, if you're in a place like Sweden, where the police, like... Oh, you're missing your stuffed plushie? Yes, that's a real story. Um, so in another country, in Sweden, I think it was, or Switzerland, one of these damn Nordic countries who just all have their shit together. Like, they just put us to shame. The police are so fucking bored there, they go around looking for people's missing plushie toys. Like... What's going on here? The fucking cops are beating up all the darkies. You know, yeah, keep darky down. We got uh, uh, racist fucking cops, right? Everywhere. Uh, you know, Colin Kaepernick taking a fucking knee because, you know, his brothers are getting shot and everybody's like, uh, disrespectful to the fucking... Fuck the flag, okay? Fuck the fucking flag. It's a shit flag. It's not even good looking. It's got stars and stripes. It's not symmetrical. It looks like shit. Our national anthem is fucked. I mean, some guy on it, uh, some guy said it best in a play, his name was Belize. He said that white cracker who made the fucking national anthem knew what he was doing because he set the, the word, and the land of the free, so fucking high that nobody can actually reach that shit. Because, guess what? Nobody is free in this fucking country. It's all an illusion, and Donald Trump is finally going to be that guy to fucking burn it down. And I can't wait. And if that sounds acidic, if that sounds venomous, if that sounds disrespectful to the fucking flag, then fuck you. Because that's all I have to say about that. Fuck you, fuck the flag, fuck America, and most importantly, fuck Trump. I mean, let's let it burn. Burn the fucking flag. Burn the 
Parchment the National Anthem is fucking written on. And let's start new. Let's do something right. Let's get it together like those guys up in Norway do. Which is, I don't know if I point that way. Let's get it together, America. Let's actually make America great again by just fucking burning it down and putting something else in its place. Just like... Just, let's take every example from everywhere that's not fucking America and go, okay, that's a shit idea. That's a great idea. We need to do that. Either that or just, like, kill off, kill everybody off. Like, unleash a massive fucking super bug that wastes away all these fat fucking swine walking around everywhere. You know, you might as well just tie feed bags on their faces because that's all they ever do is consume. Alright, this shit is broken. And Donald Trump is not going to fix it. He's going to burn it down. And that is why I personally support Trump. Like I said, for all the wrong reasons. So without further ado, this has been my fucking Trump rant. And th remember, this is coming from the guy who's putting out an album called Seven Deadly Sins. Which is, you know, it, it, it's, it's an indictment against humanity. For their sins. For the seven things that keep us fucking bound to this idea that everything is cool. It's copacetic. Oh, we're just, you know, we're just doing things. Because, you know, we don't even know what we're doing anymore. Yeah, that's why. Because nobody knows what's going on. And Trump has taken full advantage of that. And because you stupid motherfuckers who support Trump don't know what's going on. Great. Good work. Now he's burning it all down and it's gonna be tremendous.